Hello there, Justin from Empower Operations here again, and in this video we're going to be talking about multi-objective optimization. Using SolidWorks, we've built a simple flywheel model to find out the effects of slot dimensions and number of slots on volume and stress. Attempting to optimize both volume and stress at the same time makes this a multi-objective problem. For a more concrete example, we will start by setting up Oasis from scratch using the SolidWorks integration. After selecting the inputs and outputs within the SOLIDWORKS plugin, pressing the Optimize button will send the configuration to OASIS. In the Project Setup window, we set the bounds of the inputs and create a naive price objective calculation using mass and a constant. That's all the setup we need, so now let's start the optimization. One important feature of multi-objective optimizations is that they produce a set of good designs instead of a single best design. This is because multi-objective optimizations typically express some trade-off. One design might be exceptional for one objective, but mediocre in another, while another design might be a good balance of multiple objectives. During a multi-objective optimization, Oasis will produce a set of designs that expresses this trade-off. For the rest of the video, we will refer to this set of conditionally optimal designs as the Pareto set or Pareto Frontier. After a short optimization run, we have enough designs to create a Pareto set. In fact, we have too many designs. We found several points that could be your optimum depending on your priorities, but how will we narrow it down to a single design? At the results sheet, we can pass the Pareto Frontier trade-off designs into a decision-making module. Once here, in the Attribute Settings tab, we can set priorities for our objectives. The default is 50-50, meaning mass and stress have equal weight when choosing designs. We can proceed to the rating phase several ways, but this time we'll normalize the design outputs to a scale from 1 to 100. The last step in the decision-making module is visualizing the trade-off designs with their fitness values, calculated by scaling each objective by their assigned weights. If you want cost to factor twice as much as stress tolerance, set the weight to be double that of the stress objective and the results will rearrange themselves to those specifications. The designs with the highest solution fitness are the ones that most closely fit your weight specifications. Once we've decided on the appropriate design, we'll find it in the results sheet and rerun it. This will cause SolidWorks to be repopulated with the design and allow it to be scrutinized further. If you want to view the data outside of OASIS, there's an option to export the contents of the results sheet to Excel. I hope this video has cleared up some of the challenges and benefits that come with multi-objective optimization and that it will assist you in finding a faster way to your best design.